all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today we're going to be doing something not really new on the channel but it's more like hey the marnie realm came out so we're going to try it out i'm going to show you my rotation and everything uh ultimately it's not really that much different and yeah it's like actually it's not that bad if you uh think about it so the usual these stuff resistances artifacts um and the other one so over here is generally what i like to do okay let me stop that all right we're good oh my god i kind of wish the radius that the followed you wasn't so large all right so anyway we're not going to be using full elixirs i'm just going to use regular buffs like we would normally do i'll show you what it's all about and get started so usually i like to start with this pull because it's the easiest starting point that i could show you all and yeah so let's see you're probably wondering is this spot better than or worse than before and honestly it's a little bit better assuming you can like actually clear it effectively in my opinion it's a lot cleaner of a rotation than having to walk and i like it more actually okay so 252 drop rate everything is on i think um i like to use the narc instead of the debo because in theory it should be a little bit higher in terms of damage but ultimately is it's, it's a, only a little bit noticeable i think But whenever they add the thing that they were talking about before of uh, higher higher tier brackets, do I think that's a good thing? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Like, it's good for me, but I don't know if it's good for, like, mid-tier players trying to PvP against high-tier players. Usually, once I get this sorted, it'll be good. But yeah, just overall, throughout August, this has been basically my life grinding ash forest and i think eventually i'm gonna save up enough debos and we're just gonna buy a tet and then save up enough crons and we'll just hope for the best and i'll just pray for average rng instead of one tapping it Next time we do this video, I'll use full elixirs just to give you a general reference of how much better it is. But at the same time, I'm just kind of lazy. I think my average of getting a Debo or a Spectre's Gaze is probably like one in four hours. So to give you an idea like we have five of them ready to go and we need a lot more of them for our enhancing session you guys have probably seen by septimus his video of him going for a devil like last year and man he deserves his pen because he i think struggled more than anyone But yeah, let's just see this hour if we can even get one. That would be nice. One Spectre's Gaze. I still do need the Rich Merchant Ring piece here. People said on average you get like one every 60 hours, but I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me. So what I actually do is pull the three back here, and then you can pull them over here. And if you want to hit the seed you can but mostly try to get all the volkers to line up because those are the ones that really drop the debos at the highest rate uh, barnus after that
But yeah, that's basically the rotation. It's actually not that many poles. This um, this is a very, I guess I would consider it a high end area, but there's only like four or five different packs you have to worry about, which I think is overall good. But yeah, realistically, this month, I don't think I'm making a lot of silver. It's it's all hoping we get a Debo neck. I think if I were to actually average how much silver I make here, if I were to sell everything on average, like Capra Stone, Black Stones, and Trash Loot, we're probably looking about like 300 mil an hour here at like a high end spot, which is not great. But like if you get a Debo, technically it's like a bill an hour, but I don't think most people are actually selling the Debo. But I do think this is a good, a decent spot if you are trying to go for um, the Orzeka Helm. And you get the leaves along with it. And yeah, I actually, when I was going for the Helm, I got 100 pity pieces here. Or, yeah, I didn't, I never got the full lung. So... Instead of grinding Thornwood, this is actually a lot better. I don't actually think these Volcars will follow you to the next pole. If I have a good hour and things just line up, I think I could get close to 5,000 loot. But on an average hour, it's like about 4,100. That's just with the standard level 2 scroll. And that's it. No Agris coin, which you should not be using an Agris coin here. Along with um, no Agris points either. This is so this bot is kind of like Star's End. If you get a Disto, you're doing great. If you don't, it the hour feels kind of bad. I am actually due for another necklace this hour because I've been grinding. If I were to take my one in four hours, one average you know we might actually have to do a throwback and grind history again because i'm gonna need those red shards if I, if I get a lot of specters which in theory you should be getting a lot of specters gazes hold one over here another one over here this one, bullet, aggro. Okay, I went too far back and then one reset. Okay, so the one that reset does not go past the crystal. You want to kill the small ghost on the side, that's cool. But I think those actually just have a lower rate for the gaze. You want more trash loot? Cool if you don't. This is also a good spot to park your horse for the Marnie Realm. 
But the weird thing is, so with the Marnie Realm, they took out that one pole over here. And if you grinded the non-Marnie Realm, you would know that there's an extra pole at that exact spot. So, like, Marnie Realm actually worse. But it's what you do what you get for grinding a peaceful no contested spot hour ultimately it's not really that bad one extra pull So what are your averages here for anyone who's been grinding here for the necklace as well? One in four hours or something, roughly. Kind of like pulling the one over there so you have to kind of come out of here a little bit further and then pull everything around here but still being able to burst the barnas down sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't So anyone that grinds the Dekia version, I'm curious to know how much better the drop rate is, because I know if you're going for the earring, that probably has a different one, and that's Olin's, of course, but when, I, when you're watching like the high-end people grind Dekia Olin's, it's like one every hour. It's actually pretty nuts. And with the change Dekia for Ash Forest, it feels a little bit easier, but it's still, like, you have to be alert. Most people aren't ready for it still, myself included. Doing it and doing it efficiently are two different things. I still remember grinding here during the event, like the uh, extra loot buff event, and I was at like 300%. It still didn't really feel any different. Thank you. 
I'm actually curious how many leaves people get an hour but or Zeka one as well my average is like between four to four to seven not that I need them but it also really depends on Afuaru's those give the most actually yeah like that When I think about it, I'm not even sure, like, if I were to... Go for another one, I don't know who I'd put it on. Yeah, I think I like this rotation a little bit more than the original one before they added this pillar. to the next one i don't know let's find out i guess it does it, it flies so slowly though want is one specter's gaze and we'll be good and you know one day when we click our or go for pen attempts on it i just hope it doesn't downgrade from tet all it would happily just i think it's what like twelve thousand crons per click i will happily pay twelve thousand but it doesn't downgrade I purposely ignored a Gyrus. I know there's a second wave of them, I guess you can say, but my experience with Bullcrust, just going faster for the Bullcrust is the way to go if you want Devos. I mean, those are right here. <laughs> I, I think it's probably still better to skip them. I remember like uh, about a year ago 
remember in the history of Marnie realm they were missing a or an elton pole all the way in the back all we have to do is complain about it enough and they might actually add it back and there's a missing pole in the marnie realm here or a set of varnas i'll talk about it when i get to it again it's right after the like starting pole where there's an empty gap maybe they'll add it like our resistances just aren't working today so yeah this pole right here it would be a, a barnus right here and a crystal right here they took it out complain about it on the forums or something and then maybe they'll add it again other one come from actually what the heck they just kind of appear What do you guys think? Are we gonna get a Debo this this hour? Spectre's gaze counts as it. I wish I knew what the pull point was for the back one. I should probably kill that. I saw a blue blast go out. I was like, oh no, that's a Barnes. It aggroed.
One day I'll see that Debo pop up. I kind of wonder why they don't allow you to like or put a try accessory in the loot pool like, for everything you can get up to duo and I think there are a few that try but those accessories aren't worth anything are they afraid of people making 20 billion like once every year from a random drop You know what's actually funny? Like, if you get the Spectre's Gaze, it costs uh, two red shards from Istria and two black shards from Underwater. And that's actually about, like, 60 million silver. It's worth it doing it 100%, and it's the only way to do it, get it. But man, that's actually kind of a lot when you think about it. 60 mil times a lot of them. I believe I got three artifacts. Dang, every time I see something pop up on screen and it's a Lila's pedal, that just baits me. Like the only things that should pop up are Rich Merchant Ring, a Leaf, and obviously a Necklace. I believe one Debo this hour, 30 more minutes. We still have time. I believe in the good RNG. are my resistances actually 90% knockdown Let's see yes I am aware a 75% cap in PvP but if your PvE is uncapped resist why people use him 
game is hitting a lot of pen and percents on me. Varnish chased me out here. Fuaru. I just missed that. <laughs> God, this place is so mind numbing. I just wish. It wasn't such a lottery in this grind spot. Like, this is a 300 AP spot. Most people can't even be here. And... If you don't get a deb Or, not a debo. Uh... Oh yeah, it is a debo. And just... This hour feels so bad. Another Afuaru. I think he just kind of disappeared. I saw something. It was an artifact. At least those artifacts are like 10 mil each, minus tax, like 8 mil each.
Uh, I should probably get that Barnas before it starts like empowering everything. I wish it was easier to get drop rate bonus. I'm thinking about leveling up a node, but the last time I did, I got a max node on here and it didn't even really feel like anything changed. Three leaves. Wonder what that could be. Eh. I got ten percent twice. Holy dude. If I didn't have seven thousand health, I would have been dead. If that was uh, Dekia, I 100% would have been dead. <laughs> and percent it again. I feel like I'm close for a uh, rich merchant ring piece here. I do have enough hours overall. Like if it was a one in 60 hour thing on average, it'd be pretty close.
we're due for a specter's gaze soon i feel it When the Barnas follows you all the way out here, that's how you know it's serious. Another Afuaru. Not even a leaf. Sad. This is about to be a 300 mil hour, isn't it? That's unlucky. I think the hardest uh, rich merchant ring piece to get is probably I think what people said is the Olin's one. Yeah, I guess one thing I wanted to talk about was what do you guys think of the new grind changes where Marnie Realm is going to be regenerating every hour compared to one hour a day? I, I understand both sides of people hating it and liking it. I personally, I think it's a good change because, um, like, real, realistically, even like right now, if I'm grinding in spots that don't have Marnie realms or just the group spots, it's really not that bad. If people think that you're going to miss out on the open world aspect of everything and seeing other people's, you really aren't. Like some people grind multiple hours, so that means like you're still going to be seeing people every other hour. And plus, realistically, I think it's just overall good just because you just let people grind in peace. It's not even that bad. If what I do think they should do 
is raise the cap of the loot. Like, you know how we have our little thingy, right? Uh, drop rate. So the way it works right now is the cap is 300 on non Arsha and I believe 350 or 400 on Arsha plus castle. What they should do is raise that number to like 500 and add more Arsha servers. So like maybe three or four of them. So people who just want to grind in peace, cool. You can grind with your hard cap 300%. And if you want to play contested and no Marnie realm on on Arsha servers, you can go up to 500%. I think that would be a good trade-off. And of course, add more more of those. So all the PVPers can be happy. The PVEers, you just grind like an hour a day or two. You get your Marnie realms. Everyone wins, right? And even then, like Marnie realms, sometimes they actually are worse than just non grinding a normal spot. You trade off a little bit of efficiency for being able to grind in peace, and I think that's a good change. So, is it going to kill the game? No, you'll be fine. One thing I think they should do overall. Well, actually, no, let's talk about something else first. One thing that they're going to change that's currently not in place is the guild declaration system. So basically, if you have decks on your guild, uh, the only way for it to be active is it has to be both sides um, participating. So like you deck on them, they deck on you, and then the war starts, right? So people brought up the idea of that's going to be allowing people to just grief more and um i think that they're trying to combat that with family-wide karma which that is not a good play because family-wide karma i have always said seven years ago when i was a beginner as well i always said i wish there were less the penalties were less harsh for red players this is me getting clapped as a new player as well. I've always had that same stance on it. So. If they made crystals not break permanently, not just the event going on, I think that would actually solve a lot of problems, to be honest. There's still time, game. You could still give me a Debo this hour. But yeah, overall, I think the changes are good. And... I do see a lot of people complaining. It's like, oh, this is going to kill the game, especially for the veteran players. I truly don't believe that. Like, if you are, I don't know, 320 AP, you're probably not bullying people at Centaurs. And chances are you're just going to be doing like what I'm doing, grinding at Ash Forest. And one thing I can give experience on or like I can give my take on as an endgame player if you are grinding at an endgame spot, chances are people, other people already know you because they're going to be there for the same exact reasons you are. So like when I grind non Marnie Realm hours at Ash Forest, I see a lot of the same people um, that are grinding there for the Debo neck as well. And so it's usually everyone's pretty friendly and people are just like, hey, how long until you're done with the spot or something? I don't really see too many decks and everything, and I, like, the duel for spots, they don't really happen in higher end areas, to be honest. It's not to say that they don't, I just, it's not common.
But yeah. That's really my takes on the upcoming changes. And is it going to kill the game? No. Chances are most people will just be fine continuing doing what they're doing. Now you get another. Now you can just grind in peace. That's about it. I don't really like the family-wide karma system, though. I wish they would take out naval fame. That is actually one of the worst things. You know, I have actually told this story before that I made the Valor, the Carrick boat, by the way, so I could PvP with my friends. And if you flag on another ship right now in the ocean, the amount of karma or family naval fame you lose is pretty steep. And they said they were going to introduce a system that you could, like, there's going to be more boat PvP, boat content. Yeah, that was a lie. They never added that. They decided they wanted to make Land of the Morning, like, extra dumb for... And make that a new player thing when that, like... New, Land of the Morning Light is fun. There's no doubt about that. But the fact that they're giving that an option to new players, I don't know, man. Like, it's something you do eventually. It's not something you start the game with. Because when you're a beginner, your goal is to be doing the seasons, doing all the season passes, getting all the rewards, getting as much gear as you can early on. And if you're just starting out in Morning Light, you're not doing any of that. You're doing a, like a 400 quest chain. And that's it. Give me a rich merchant ring right now and I'll buy some pearls. I will use code John Law while I'm at it. I'm actually not even sure. Like, <laughs> can I use my own code? Like, I have no idea. Probably. Man, this was like actually such a brain dead hour for me. Better not hit a 10% on me game. I have a feeling we'll probably end up with like 4200 trash loot this hour, which it's not the worst I've seen. Just really about average.
So whenever the tent buff goes out in four minutes, we'll call it the hour there. Because, man, I'm getting sleepy from this. Oh, another leaf. Uh, we got four leaves this hour. I heard getting the lung here, like a straight drop of lung, is the equivalent of getting a merchant ring. I wonder if we could get hit 4,300 trash. I think my highest was like 4,900. I don't know how I did that. But I think everything lined up in terms of the holes. we get this hour like 200 black stones roughly about 35 capris 4300 trash loot for artifacts that's probably about 350 mil this feels so bad i know dekia is supposed to fix the problem but most people can't even do dekia ash forest consistently or safely like yeah i can kill them without dying doesn't mean <laughs> it's better we got one minute left on our and maybe tomorrow we'll get an earring or a necklace that is Also, I wanted to talk about some things like, you know how when you see grind videos on like YouTube and people have some like crack number, it's because they set up everything before going in. Like, for example, with Gyphon, um, they already have like the starting special star bonus. Or if it at works, they already have a one of those light thingies ready to go from the very beginning. This is why I like to start my hour in the Marnie realm. Just to give like an accurate representation. Or like start my hour directly when I would pop my buffs. All right. 
right, let me uh, finish this up. Finish up this rotation, and then we're, we're done. Last pull game. You know you want to give me a Debo. So we got roughly around 44 something, but I don't think anyone comes here for the trash loot. Hopefully, hopefully you guys had a good time watching this. I know it could have been pretty boring. I don't know. But yeah, I just want to say that we have about two days left on our code to support your creator or whatever that event is called. If you're thinking about buying any pearls in the next like two days until August 16, I uh, use my code and I get a small portion of it. And it's actually a pretty decent time to get it because you get some extra goodies along the side if you buy the extra uh, 100 or like one of these thingies. You get some extra goodies on the side. So that's cool. But anyway, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.